Good to see you, OG. I'm glad you're here, man. Oh, there you go, man. Appreciate you, Best to be here, boy. Yes, Listen, listen, listen. You already know what it is. We got breaking news involving the CEO of Big Baller Brand, LaVar Ball, ladies and gentlemen. He was live and direct on the field for the Colorado Buffaloes. He was there next to Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, Shador, and the crew. You all know what's going on. Shout out to Well Off Media doing big things. It wouldn't behoove me at all if we come to find out there's a partnership brewing between Well Off, Triple B's, Dion, Triple B. Listen, you, you already know what it is. It's Flight Sports. We're going to break it all down. Make sure you subscribe for more news updates and more. We bringing a barrage at you. Man, it's, it, it, this doesn't make any sense. You know, um, this should have happened a long time ago. But LaVar Ball said a few weeks ago, on Vlad TV that he was going to be taking a trip to Colorado up in Boulder. Yes, to sit down with Coach Prime, Deion Sanders. I can't wait to see what comes out of this. I'm telling you, we haven't even got to the conversation yet. I know that Colorado, they, they, they went out pretty tough. It was a tough loss. We're going to break it all down. Um, think Because Colorado got the big time decisions to make. You know, um, but nonetheless, this was a spectacular moment in time. Two black fathers, you understand who the only these are the only two who can relate. I'm just I'm just I'm just keeping it 100 in that public eye with the with the boys, you know, um, not just one, ladies and gentlemen, you understand, you know, you you seen what LeVar did. He brought three boys to the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. In Lonzo, Lamelo, and Leangelo, and now you see right across the street in another sport, football. You see Deion Sanders, Coach Prime. Yes, he is trying to do something. Not trying, he's doing it. He is doing something pretty much identical to the CEO of Big Ball LeBrand when Shador and Shiloh eventually walk across that stage. We're going to get all into it, ladies and gentlemen. It's Flight Sports. I got my man Nico Savage in the building. Nico, you broke the news in the community on this. This is a crazy situation. Shout out to the Triple Bs. What was your initial thoughts when you seen this firsthand? The CEO of Big Ball of Brand linking up with Coach Prime Deion Sanders. What, what, what was your thoughts? Well, when I seen that, you know, for one, I was shocked. I'm like, he actually there. He on the field. So that means that they had communication before the game, and they probably actually had some content that we haven't seen yet. That's what I'm clamoring for. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to knock them because they're both very boisterous, outspoken, and they let you know what they, they're thinking on their mind. But I can't wait to see those two men who are pioneers for the new age of sports right now. Uh, as much as people don't want to give LeVar Ball credit, we got to give him a credit. Hey, the basketball is Wilson now. He started that first in the JBA. Uh, he started paying guys. Now we're getting paid in the G League. And in college, uh, three sons in the NBA. Uh, people like to knock his personal career, right? But guess what? He clearly has something prosperous in his mind that contributed to something great with three sons reaching the NBA. So when you pair that kind of mindset with a Deion Sanders, I couldn't be nothing but shook. I'm like, oh, man, hey, like LeVar say, it's about to go down. And I'm just waiting to see what they put out going forward. But overall, it all wraps back to the fact that LeVar Ball played football, too. So he's not just a basketball mind. People like to forget that LeVar Ball was an athlete all around. He could touch down on every single sport. And guess what? Deion Sanders... Not only is he the greatest to ever do it at cornerback, they actually have something that they dedicated themselves more to than their own lives, which is the lives of their children. So it's going to speak volumes when these guys actually get to speak in front of people and give them knowledge and kick game and, and actually get the build together. I mean, um, absolutely, Nico. It's truly spectacular, all of the things that Coach Prime Deion Sanders you know, um, has in store. This was a terrible loss, nonetheless. I, I wish LeVar could have been there on better, you know, footing because of what just occurred. Um, obviously, the Buffaloes, they started off so triumphant 
and for them to lose to that field goal, it was a heartbreaker nonetheless. 34-31. Nico, um, and uh, just speaking a little football, wh where in the world does the Colorado Buffaloes go? Um, I, I guess that they probably won't be bowl eligible. Um, wh wh where does this season go from here? Right now, uh, as a football player, you just want to see good things. You're worried about the guys who are coming back. And you want to see good habits, the way that they fight on the way out. Uh, you've seen on Well Off that they actually had all the seniors that ain't coming back come up, give a speech, rally the team together. Those are the guys that are like, you know, to stay last hoorah. But a majority of that team, it's actually a lot of juniors, actually a lot of sophomores, a lot of freshmen too. So most of those guys, uh, if they don't hit the transfer portal, will be back next year. And you're just kind of looking to build on what you have now. And that's typically how teams that win, win because you have continuity. You know, guys, you get better, you're stronger, you're faster, more intelligent. And that's what Coach Palm is looking to do. He's looking to bring in some good guys to aid this group of guys that already know what they're doing. So I would say as far as what they're doing and where to go from here, just want to see some 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 bright spots like, OK, how we running the ball? Is the line playing better? Is Shador kept upright? Uh, what does Cormani look like? Because, you know, Cormani started last game and he actually looked very good. And, uh, yeah, you just want to take your bright spots because this season is for show a loss. Yeah. I mean, like I said, there's no other way to slice a dice. And now I guess it's whatever Shador and company can salvage and get ready for next season because they're pretty much all confirmed to be coming back. Um, I definitely think next year – Colorado, or the deck should be stacked, you know, for them. Um, you obviously see signing after signing along with the big guys coming back. Travis would be in Shador, Shiloh and company. Um, also, you have Caleb Williams and the Bo Nixes of the world. These guys will be long gone. So the, de so the deck should be clear. Um, Nico, where do you see next season for Colorado? Could they be a top team or do you see more adversity in the horizon? Well, one of the biggest things we actually had, uh, you know, throw us off was they beat TCU. So that's set in our mind. Oh, my God, this team is actually ready to do something. And then from the weeks after that, <laughs> it just kind of devolved into a hot mess. Couldn't score on offense. Defense bad. Shadur getting hit every other snap. Uh, I guess it would boil down to the fact that next season. Uh, they should have a new offensive line, which is the biggest thing. You give somebody a time, you give somebody like Shador a little time to pass that football. Come on now, it's dangerous, and that's what I see it being nothing more than, which is uh dangerous. Him being the best quarterback in the country, winning the Heisman like we thought he could this year, he showed flashes. Uh, Travis being a better player, um, even though you know they got a Marion too. This gonna be a sophomore. He's probably gonna be starting on the opposite side of Travis. Uh, Jimmy Horn is still be in this slot. That should be a uh, – I, I wouldn't say they're going to be the best team, but they should be ranked all season. I'm looking forward to them probably taking maximum three losses, uh, getting a bowl game, and sending Shador and Shiloh out. Uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to Nico Savage channel. Let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, you can find me uh, at YouTube.com backslash Nico Savage. Or if you wanted to search Nico Sav or Nico Savage. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is. It's flight sports.